So we've seen the ideal gas law. We should all know this. PV is equal to nRT. But there is an interesting um, there is an interesting formula that derives from the ideal gas law, and that's PM is equal to dRT. So M. So we know what P is. P is pressure, right? M. M means molar mass. And D means density. In the RT, we all know R is ideal gas sum. Ideal gas constant T is just well, temperature. So we know this. This you might not know. So I'm going to show you how to derive this from this. So the derivation is actually pretty simple. What we will do is we're going to take this equation and we're going to multiply both sides by molar mass divided by volume. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by molar mass divided by volume. And I'll get, well, P, right? P times M over V times V, right? Is equal to N M over V R T. Well, that wasn't a good R. I'll fix that real quick. I'll look at the P. R T, right? So this is what we get. Now, we can just clearly see here, volume on the bottom, volume right here, they cancel out. We get that PM is equal to NM over V times RT, right? Now the question is, what is NM over V? Like, what does that actually, like, what quantity does that represent, I guess? So, let's think about this. N, we have moles, so we have moles, right? Uh, I'm writing this right here, so moles... And then times molar mass, so times some gram per mole. All right, and then we're dividing by some volume, so like some volume, maybe like maybe I don't know meters cubed or something, All right? Something like that. So let's see here, moles, mole, mole here they cancel out. We have some gram over volume, right? So some weight over volume. That's only density, All right? So we get that Nm over V that actually comes out to be density because weight over volume. Right? Or mass over volume, whatever you want to call it. So that's basically it, really. That's how we get our formula PM is equal to DRRT. Because it turns out that AM over V comes out to represent density. So, really simple, like really simple on derivation, I guess. Just multiply the, uh, multiply both sides of the ideal gas law by M molar mass divided by volume, molar mass over volume. So, uh, that's basically it. So, um, Pretty cool. This is also really useful. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more cool stuff like this.